Hey guys, what I want to try to do today is help you transition through your major scales. Uh, we're going to take five patterns and I'm going to show you how you can easily get, instead of playing uh, in a linear fashion just right across the board, which is also known as position playing, how you can go from one into the next pattern and see it very easily. Uh, what we're looking for is strings that look alike and have two notes in a row. Um, your first major scale pattern looks like this. We're doing them in G. Okay, the next one looks like this. Alright, now I'm assuming that you already know the patterns. Um, so what we're looking for is when we get to string four, you'll notice these two strings in pattern one are the same. So if you look, you have these two notes that stand out right there. Okay? So to switch up into the next position, you know that you're never going to have three notes in a row. Okay? So what you can do is since these notes are like this, you're going to make this this. See, coming from here and then to right there. The other string looks exactly the same, so you could do it here also. Okay, so what you do is just walk through the scale. When you come to that, you just can just slide right into the next position and then just continue. So what you might do just to kind of get used to it is just to get on those two strings, which we're going to have three and four, and just play those two strings, look for those two notes, and then shift, and play those with fingers one and two now instead of three and four. What you might also do is just sit there and... Or backwards. So it's an easy way to get around from pattern one to pattern two. Okay, now, pattern two, we said looks like this. All right, pattern three just looks like that. Again, I'm assuming you already know these. All right, well, take pattern two, walk all the way up till you get to these top two strings. You come to the same thing as you did from pattern one to pattern two, you've got one, three, four. Okay? So to slot in, the two strings look exactly alike. Strings one and two look exactly alike. So again, what you're going to do is make this that. See how I take these two fingers, it's three and four, and then I'm going to make play those same two notes from pattern two in pattern three with fingers one and two. Okay, so then Same thing. And then you've got your transition. So you go from pattern two. When you get to here, whenever you want, either on this string or the next one, you can just slide right up. And go back. And if you want, once you get up here, you can... So that becomes that, then that becomes that. Okay? So that's pattern two to pattern three. Alright? From pattern three to pattern four, pattern four being this one. It happens on the other side this time. It happens on strings five and four. For there's from the root. But two strings look exactly like you have two notes in a row right there on the bottom end of it. So you're going to make that, that. Three and four become one and two. And the two strings are alike. So it doesn't matter which set you transition on. Alright? So, if you come from here, say, well, we'll just go all the way back to the beginning. I'm into 
pattern two, I'm into pattern three, and now I'm into pattern four. Okay? Going backwards. Same thing over and over. Um, now pattern four to pattern five. Pattern five look, looks like this. And you don't have two strings in a row, but what you do have is a spot on the second string where you can transition through. So let's just start with pattern four from the root G. There it is, two notes in a row. You don't get two strings this time, but same thing. We're there with fingers three and four on the second string of pattern four, and then we just make those fingers one and two. So from pattern four to pattern five, you're just going to make the same switch you should be used to seeing by now. Just like that. So coming from pattern four into pattern five, See how that happens? It's the same every time. And then, to get back to pattern one, if you want to keep going up the board, there it is. You've got two uh, fingers right in a row. Three and four, you make them one and two. Then you're back to pattern one where we started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk this for you and I'll try to spend some time uh, kind of just emphasizing the transition spots, okay? Here we go. transitioning through major scales. What you'd like to do is eventually just be able to go from one scale to the next, up to the next, up to the next, up to the next, up to the next, kind of like I did, except for uh, don't spend so much time on the transitions. Um, and that'll give you more of a horizontal type of uh, way to solo instead of playing in a position. So I uh, hope it was helpful and uh, any questions send me an email. Talk to you later.